Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go to Frosted Glacier 5 Ice Slide Expressway. Which means they will likely be introducing a power-up known as the Penguin Suit. Which allows you to slide on the ice like that and that... Oh, to give, give me another one there. That's very generous of you. I just wanted to really make sure you had a power here. Or a penguin power here. Okay, be mindful of the path that you take through here and just watch, just look ahead, keep pull, pulling forward, don't press up or anything like that, just jump when need be, there you go, just like that, just keep looking ahead, don't, oh shoot, well, missed out on the blue coin prize, but that's okay, no big deal, just gotta keep looking ahead, don't even bother with the boxes, because you'll lose your rhythm, whoop, whoop. Oh yeah, it's coin, coin number two, and uh, 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 get up there. So I need to keep my momentum, because I need it for the end. Well, okay, I only need it for a little bit at the end. It's right here, and don't forget about this. Star coin up there, there's the last one. That was a fast level. <laughs> That's why I said, just keep your momentum throughout. It's so, it's, I mean, it's such an easy level if you keep your momentum like that. And it's so fun to do that, too. I've played that level, like, just for the fun of it, like, just to slide through it, because it's such a well-made level in that regard, that you just blast through everything if you're as a, a penguin. Alright. No, nip it. Maybe I should go take care of it right now. Oh, <laughs> remember this trick? Save your stars for Nabbit. Oh, poor Nabbit. It doesn't stand the chance. I've got everything against him. Gripped because of the penguin suit. Oh! And it's panicking. <laughs> Gripped because of the penguin suit. See, you don't lose traction when you have the penguin suit like you would normally on ice. And uh, I had the star, which sped me up. It just. It was an uphill battle for Nabbit. <laughs> Alright, that was a very, very quick Navit battle. And should I even do these at this point, or should I save the items? I guess I could do these along the way, because I'm I'm constantly going to be beating levels anyway, so it's not like I I'm absolutely positively need the um the items like the item house is saved, so to speak. Oh no 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 no. I need no, he's not. Not that one. That, 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 no, no, oh, no. This one. <laughs> Go away, not you. Okay, this one. Go down. This one. Here. This way. Good boys. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I picked the wrong one. I lost everything. <laughs> Should always grab the mushroom first rather than the Bowser before I lose track of it. Ah. Well. That, would, that turned out to be a waste of a mushroom house either way, so I guess it's no, not really that big of a deal. Alright, Peekaboo Ghost House. There's a secret exit to be found in here, as well as the usual three star coins. So, let's go. Arrows. No, I'm falling. No. Actually, um, be on the lookout for a hole that leads into a ceiling room. I should say a room that leads up there. Uh, you'll see why. Uh, if I recall, it's somewhere over the rainbow. No, not over the rainbow. There's no rainbows in such a dank, dark, evil place. Oh, oh, oh. There's a coin, but that's the second one. We don't want that. Well, we do want that, but I mean, we do. We want to go here before you forget to go here, because they actually threw you off on this one. They make you think that that uh, first star coin is the. Uh, uh, first star coin of the level, but it's not. <laughs> you actually have to go find the secret exit in order to get the the first star coin. So it's like the first star coin is on an entirely different path, and then the last two star coins are for the rest of the level. And this is going to create a very long and winding road. There's a lot of these long and winding roads on uh, secret exits to that pond. That actually, after you being uh, after you beat that level, it actually leads over to World Six. 
So that's another uh, shortcut of sorts. You know what I found funny about secret exit shortcuts that leave you that lead you to higher levels? If you're a beginner playing the game, that is not going to help you. <laughs> I mean, if yeah, like uh, like if this was your fi first game, you're you're kind of struggling with the the basics of platforming. I mean, uh, basics of side scrolling gameplay. How are you going to manage to beat the harder levels? <laughs> Tell me, how how is that going to work? I mean, I suppose you could keep practicing, it's not impossible to do it. But what I'm saying is that uh, if you think you're going to beat the game quicker by using the secret exits, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> Stop that. Boos are, are very, very shy when you look at them, so be... Oh, shoot. Isn't there something down there? I could have swore there was something down underneath. Like in here? No, there wasn't. Ah, poopers. Wasted a hit for nothing. Oh! Where is the last coin? It's gotta be somewhere. Well, yeah, it's gotta be somewhere, obviously. <laughs> but that's not helping anyone. Just saying it's gotta be somewhere doesn't help anyone. By the way, that's a fake door. Oh! Oh! oh. Hmm. Hopefully the coin wasn't behind those boxes. I wasn't looking behind them. Hmm. Well, it's a really short level, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to not cut here. Hmm. That leads over to the castle. I'm not doing that yet, of course. I also gotta avoid a couple of cooligans along the way there if I want to get there without uh, getting into trouble, I guess you could say. Oh yeah, perfect jump, right off the bat. Illusionary boxes, right off the bat. Booze, right off the bat. Hits, right off the bat. <laughs> okay, so, okay, you move out of the way, please. Just want to make sure there's nothing behind you. I know they sometimes like to hide stuff behind the big booze. Eh, nothing up there. Nothing up my sleeve. Nothing behind that box. Is it something inside that box? Hmm. Ah! Nope. Oh, Nope. So I would check the high road. Maybe I can get through there from this side. Oh, yep, that worked. <laughs> ah! If only I tried the other side. See, sometimes there's trigger points that, oh geez, that force you to absolutely have to touch a certain point. Ah, oh, I lost my coin! That forces you to absolutely touch a point, and yeah. All right, Star Coin, you're mine this time. Oh, oh. oh slippery Luigi physics. <laughs> oh no no no! Ah! All right, Circle Dance of the Dead. Oh, I'm getting that coin from you this time, whether you like it or not. <laughs> And I'm making it to the end of this level, whether you like it or not. Preferably with my power. This is a pretty good power to have. Alright. Safe. <laughs> this power, as well as the propeller power-up, really, really makes it easy to get to the end of the flagpole. I don't know what these boxes dis disappear. Oh, nothing hidden behind them. See, if you get the power, you can instantly get up to the top of the flagpole without any issue whatsoever. Course clear! Made it. Woo! All right, I think I'm gonna go over to the secret exit first. I mean, secret level first, which is down here. And it is Frosted Glacier Dash Flipperous, when as Flipperous flows. Let's start. I recall this level being very easy. And there's a Bowser Jr. Snowman. Well, it's a caricature of a Bowser Jr. Snow. Uh, Bowser Jr. I should say. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I'm gonna keep this. This seems like a better idea to keep the keep this then. Uh, although you can use these to boost yourself out of the water and get higher height on your jumps. Oops. You can't use them, however, to avoid icicles. That is a lesson that we can all learn. What if I just do? No, 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 no. That's bad. <laughs> I just want to see if there's something up there that's important. Well, there's a 1-up. It's getting me closer to that 99. <laughs> oh. What? How? Why is this not even work? 
how do you make, keep managing to avoid my jumps anyway? <laughs> oh! I think the reason why I had such an easy time on this the first time was because I was running through everything and everything was in in my range the first time. Um, so, I'm just going to use that if you don't mind and run through the level like crazy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ha ha! You can easily run under the, th the flippers when they do that. Because they always seem to jump immediately when they see you. So they're always in time with the screen, so to speak. Alright, get those triggered, get out of the way, run on ahead. And there we go, there's number two. Oh shoot! Well, luckily I can go down here. <laughs> but, that's not helping me get that coin. Well, maybe. Hold on. Uh, I'll just save my coins. I'll keep that run for, I mean, I'll keep that in mind for a, uh, a later run through the level that I have to be on the upper route or face consequences of not being able to get that coin in, I should say, get the coin in time. And there is the track that leads over to World 6, but we're not taking that. With a skull coaster, ooh, spooky. All right. So, how am I going to get past that blockade? <laughs> Maybe this level wasn't as easy as I remember it. <laughs> or I, got, I just got really lucky on my first run through it. That is always a possibility. All right, I'm just going to make sure I have this power, because what I intend on doing is uh, sniping the flip bristles as I go. If I, if I can't, which I didn't. And now I will just... Complain about it with odd sounds all day long. Woo! Alright. It's pretty good. With Luigi's super high floaty jump, it makes these jumps really easy. This would be a lot harder if it was Mario. Alright, there's the last coin. And I don't even have to be up here. I should say, be up there any longer. Unless you want to get the one up on the flag. I think I'll do... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much time I'm gonna end up cutting uh, due to that ghost house. Uh, I guess I'll finish off by defeating these cooligans. How about that? That sounds like a good idea. Because these are really short stages. Um... Oh, I was safe on that platform. <laughs> Come on, all to the corner, please. It's safer at the corner because you turn around there. Ah! Seems like it takes two hits. One to knock off your protective shades the other for the hits, which sometimes others um, help me with. No! That was the worst jump I ever did! <laughs> Rematch! Oh, I got the second one this time. Don't know how I managed to do that, considering the first one was in front. What's the formation going to be like this time? I guess that's so... That's not so tricky! Ooh, 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 ooh. You're a lot more clumsy without the sunglasses. Maybe the, the glasses are like a prescription, actually. That's why you have more issues dealing with Luigi without glasses. That could that could explain a whole lot. Mini Russian. Which I'll save for other levels that have important secrets to get from them. Mm -hmm. and... But I will, just to play it safe. Use this to guarantee that I beat this. Well, I guess there's no guarantees because it's, it's possible that I could take three hits. That's always a possibility, but the chances are kind of unlikely. <laughs> nope, there's one hit. <laughs> I'm just watching that take three hits in this just because it's like, it's like that Boom Boom battle where I just kept taking hits from every, every time I said something was easy. But no, it worked out this time. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.